welcome Pisces to your end, mid to end <laughs> September tarot messages, predictions, just anything that spirit wants to bring through for you guys. And I do recommend watching your sun, moon, and rising, but rising is usually ah, the most accurate. The desk is extremely slick. It's kind of hard to shuffle them sometimes. So spirit, what do my Pisces friends need to know for the end of September? What can they expect? Everybody's moving out of a bad time, out of a funk, which is great that it's happening here. And there's definitely focusing on, like, now's the time to focus on work, on, um, yeah, hobbies, goals, desires. And not necessarily, like, relationships. I'm not picking up a lot of energy around relationships. I'm picking up more about, it's time to focus on yourself, Pisces. And actually, you guys might have somebody that can help you focus on that goal. And, um, get you out of a negative habit maybe a negative thought pattern and I feel like that's what you guys are doing uh you guys are coming out of a lot of anxiety but you got to pull yourself out of that and that's through making better decisions and like I said I feel like you guys might have somebody that you can rely on at this time to kind of help you through this so let's see what else is coming through for Pisces oh creative energy two threes this is a surprise coming for you guys um yeah you guys are gonna have a gift and it could be a monetary gift because we are seeing the three of pentacles so if you've been waiting for money to come in for you guys it's time to release the idea of what it's going to be and how it's going to come and how you know whatever uh it's time to release that attachment to it because it is coming you have to actually start allowing it you know, you have to let go before any you can actually receive. Because when you're in that stage of, like, waiting, it just prolongs it. It creates delays. Oh, you have three threes now. Yes. So here's your confirmation, Pisces, that what you've been waiting on um, is coming through. But it is about releasing the attachment here. You're overthinking it at this time. And actually, I think it's going to be a pretty good um, compensation for something here going to bring a lot of wealth and stability into your life that you've been waiting for we also have the two of swords here and this is about you know once again this goes back to me is releasing you know balancing back out your life making that commitment to uh yourself to where you're going to make a choice to not look back on things this can also indicate to me for some of you that and maybe because it's under the three of pentacles i said there's somebody that you can rely on at this time that can help you through the situation and kind of navigate it a little bit better because you're kind of feeling blinded um this could be someone from your past that's coming through which once again it's mercury retrograde so that is very possible but this is about you guys making a decision being passionate moving forward let's see what else is coming through for my pisces friends focus is going to be the key you guys we're going to see a lot of positive things happening at the end of September for a lot of people because we are coming out of this imbalanced time where we almost got ourselves into this funk, into this stagnant energy. But it is about releasing this. Like I said, you guys are attached to something and it's time to let it go. As soon as you let this go, a flood of creative energy, of opportunities, of stability is going to come into your life if you can take advantage of this energy at this time and like i said for some of you this is going to be you need to reach out to someone from your past not like necessarily an ex maybe an old friend or something like that that can help you with this help direct you and like i said navigate you through this time all right pisces i think that is all that i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this reading and have a super blessed day